Hey guys, Sassy Fish here for another redstone tutorial, and today we are looking at the 2x2 flush piston door again. I did it before, but a lot of the questions in the comments were about where do I put the lever on the other side, can I put pressure plates down, and all that kind of thing. So, I've redesigned it slightly, and we're going to have it with pressure plates to open. It's very swish, I'll show you in a second. But, before I do that, if you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing, and as always, leave me a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you prefer this design to the original. Okay. So, it is very swish. There is only one problem with it. If you don't keep moving, you might get stuck in the door. But other than that, it's awesome. It's a really fun design. I'm re gonna show you exactly how to do it. It's just a rework of the original. The original video, I will put a link in the description up in the top corner now. Yeah, about now. And uh, if you wanna take a look at the original video, but if not, let's get into it and show you how to make this one. So, it is quite straightforward. The first thing we're going to do is put down our pistons. So, I'm going to make it quite a bit away from that one. So, what you're going to do is place four pistons in a square like this. Then, four blocks away, one, two, three, four, you're going to put another four pistons here. And then in the middle, you're going to put two pistons either side like that. Now, that's your basic door. And uh, then your door is going to be on these pistons like so. Now, what you're going to do. This is bit is kind of important to do now. I like to do it now at least. Is you're going to make your uh, redstone outline around the outside. Now, so you, you need to decide where your pressure plates are going to be. I put them here. So what I'm going to do is break those blocks so I know where the pressure plate is going to be. Now, bear in mind that when these pop out, the door is going to be on this level. Okay. So I'm going to put these pressure plates on this side here. And you need to decide where your pressure plates are going to go because it it will affect where you put all your redstone. So decide where your pressure plates are going to go and then put down this redstone that I'm going to show you now. Okay, so behind each door, what we're going to do is one block away, place down your pink wool or your block of your choice. It doesn't have to be pink wool. As always, you can have whatever block you want. Uh, but I like pink wool. And then we're going to put redstone torches on the, bot on the side of each block. Next, we're going to put pink wool on the blocks above the redstone torches and that's going to make all of your pistons pop out like so pretty simple so far i like it right next thing we're going to do is put down a repeater pointing into these on two ticks like that all relatively simple and then we're going to put redstone behind each repeater like that then what we're going to do is break this block here and put redstone on that and we're going to do the same on the other side and that gives us our basic door design it's quite simple so far it's very much the same as the original design i showed you and you can check that out in the description. Now, what we're gonna do from here is break two blocks down and make a course going to the blocks over there. Now, what I'm actually gonna do is go along here like this. To here. And then I'm gonna come out this way to where my pressure plates are gonna be, like that, okay? And then we're gonna go all the way around to here with the redstone and that's as far as we're going to go then we're going to put a repeater down and then you're going to put a redstone there okay that's relatively straightforward so far now we're going to do the same on the other side we're going to go around here all the way to here come around here and then we're going to put redstone here and then a repeater facing this direction and then redstone along here i've accidentally broken that one redstone along here to where our pressure plates are going to be just here now so it it's kind of working already it's getting there so uh, that's the start of our uh, piston door what we're going to now do is the same on this side except we need to go an extra block out so we want to go to here because of the wall that's going to come along here and then we're going to come along here to here 
and then we're going to go around again and then to the front you could go straight out to that first line if you want it won't make any difference how you run the redstone signal around uh, we're going to put a repeater facing this direction again you see the arrows pointing that way and then a redstone signal not up here down here all the way round that is it we're nearly ready to do the end not that one repeater so with this bit is always just make sure your repeaters are the arrows are pointing into the middle so they're going up there okay and then once you've done this you can then put your pressure plates back and put all of your sandstone on top or block of your choice doesn't have to be sandstone could be pink wool right the one thing you don't want to do is put one here now i'll show you at the end what you can do for that block if you want it covered up but uh for now leave it uncovered You're going to go all the way around to here, like that. And that covers up all of the working set. So that is the simple bit. Next thing we're going to do is come up on top of our pistons here and put two pink wool on front of that one, a block behind, and then two blocks behind that. Okay. And then you're going to come out of here, two blocks out of here, and then you're going to go down one and again. So you make a little staircase there. Now you're going to put a redstone torch on here. And then redstone on top of here. And when you do that, that one at the bottom right, it won't pop out. Don't worry. We'll fix that in a minute. It's not a big deal. But you'll it will happen. And then you're going to come down here and connect that up to there. And that's your door is basically done at this point. Oh, in fact, it is done. So what you can do, you can stand on your pressure plates. And you've got a working flush double piston door. And you can go through it backwards, and it will give you enough time. Just about. It is tight, though. It's tight on time if you're going backwards. If you're going forwards, no worries at all. If you're running, absolutely no problem. But it might be a bit slow. But yeah, once you've done that, you need to just fill in your door. So we're going to go to here. Fill in all the space, like so. We're going to go to there. Right, and that is your piston door done with your pressure plates in. So you can walk through it and walk out. So I did say I'd show you what to do with those blocks at the end. What you're going to need to do is grab yourself some slabs. So ideally, you want your floor to be made of the same material that there are slabs. And if you put a slab here, that won't break this redstone here. There's not much you can do about this one, unfortunately. That is going to be as it is. And over here, we're going to do the same thing. Usually with this, you're going to want to use whatever texture you want for your tunnel into your base of these blocks here i've used pink wool to make it easy but ideally you're probably going to want to have like a tunnel like this and you'd make those ones pink wool uh, not pink wool you would make those ones diamonds as well just to make this all a little bit more flush but yeah that's it that that is my flush double piston door with pressure plates i think it's a really cool design i love this so much and i will probably keep working on it to make it better i really hope you've enjoyed the video if you have leave me a, a message in the comments saying what you enjoyed if you want me to make any different changes to it like i have with this this video was purely because someone put in the comments that they wanted to do this so i've made a video on how to do it if you have anything you want to do with this just put it in the comments and i will do it that is how it works. I make content for what you want to see. So if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing as always. And please leave me a big thumbs up. And I will see you next time for more simple redstone tutorials. Thanks. Bye.